On today's episode, we tackle tackle. Uh, on today's episode, we install our radiator. Uh, uh, oh shit! On today's episode, we tackle our coolant system. Can yeah, we do all this? Okay, so we have our radiator loosely mounted uh, using a jack and some garage wood. Always handy to have garage wood. Uh, gonna drop it down just a little bit, but we're gonna start from the bottom up. Uh, now that the old tabs are cut out, we're gonna use the stock little stubs, um, stubs, nipples, whatever you wanna call them, on the bottom side of the radiator. We're gonna mark those and use our flat sock, cut it down and tack it into place, drill holes, and test for this again. If we don't like where it's at, that's what we tacked it in place. We'll cut them and redo it. But for happy, we'll move on to the top and we're just gonna use the top studs on the radiator. And there's actually two bolts here and here on the radiator support that we're gonna make our brackets for the top. That way they can bolt in, everything can be removed with ease. It's just a radiator, so it shouldn't move around too much. You just kinda of want it to stay in place. So, that's the game plan. All right, so overall, not too hard to get our Mishimoto radiator to fit. Um, we did actually have to go back and tweak our charge pipe a little bit, give us a little bit more clearance, but not too bad. Um, yeah, we ended up using these top tab or mounting points, and just basic 90 tabs. So that'll buff right up the welds, all that kind of stuff. Uh, one 
Minor drawback, it's got a modifier of hoses a little bit, just a slight trimming, nothing major. And this coolant tube, uh, we ended up cutting and rewelding and shortening it up quite a bit to get it to fit. But all in all, not too bad of a job to do. I mean, it looks rather nice, plenty of space, motor's never going to slide forward and take anything out, so very happy with how it turned out. Thank you guys.